For the first time in five years, Idaho Fish and Game released 300 Chinook salmon into the Boise River at four different locations. We were at Barber Park where the anglers were waiting. You know, the tug is the drug. I like setting the hook and hearing my reel scream. Idaho Fish and Game took surplus brood stock from the Rapid River hatchery near Riggins and transported the fish to the Boise River. What a beautiful animal. To give anglers in the Treasure Valley a unique fishing opportunity. This is a put and take fishery, so we do not expect these fish to spawn in the Boise River. We're putting these fish in the river for anglers to be able to fish and have an opportunity to fish for Chinook salmon closer to the Treasure Valley. Anglers need to have a fishing license, a salmon permit, and there's a bag limit of two per day with each fish counting towards the season limit. And even though we saw an angler snag a Chinook, he couldn't reel it in as this fish has a lot of fight. Uh, I wish I were better at it. I, mean, I can catch steelhead pretty well, so I'm hoping it's a little bit similar. I've hooked a few. Uh, up in the north part of the state. I've never hooked one down here when they've thrown them in before. I've just enviously watched other guys catch them. So uh, hoping that there's enough here I can tie into one. I don't know if I'll land it, but I would like to hook one. Idaho Fish and Game released both large adults and jacks, but to me the most interesting part came with the intersection of the release. The anglers trying to catch the fish, but not the tubes, as anglers played a game of frogger with the floaters in a chaotic scenario called urban fishing. Somebody ties into one of these big fish and then there's, you know, rafts going around. That's going to be a new fishing challenge, you know, the urban fishing challenge, trying to play a fish with boaters floating over your line. Oh, looking forward to that. <laughs> Steve Dent, Auto News 6.